one part in this session. So this session will be a very slow space. So uh, I'll share you the agenda. I'll request the LID to start the recording. It has been started. Thank you. Yeah. So just bear with me for a minute. Let me share my screen. Right. So, so this is the overall tutorial that I'll be I'll be walking you through. So this is the eight day session, either eight hours long. Uh, so that's why I schedule a two hours a day. This is completely a hands-on session. So I'll be demoing you something and asking you to create the same. And I'll be waiting till you complete it. If you fall into any kind of error, uh, we, I'll be helping you to solve that error. And that's how the session will be uh, will be going forward. So right. Do this session. So while so Angular is a vast. So let it be out of 100% of Angular, we'll be only covering 60% part in this session. So we are going with the principle of 60 and the 40. So the 40% part, which is not being used into the project, most of the time, we are not going to deal with it. I'll arrange a second part of this session if it's required. I mean, if I if you are interested to learn the advanced topic in the Angular, like RxJS, uh, how to deal with the RxJS, secondly, or uh, creating the own pipe, uh, custom pipes, custom directives, and whatnot and whatnot. Or to go into deep dive of Angular core, we'll arrange a separate session. But this session, we are dealing with whatever get, that's getting used on, on the project. We are going to deal with that. So this 60% part, once you if you learn this 60% part, and you start practicing it, and you start taking the tickets on the Angular, the other 40% part, you can slowly grow, uh, slowly learn. So the target here is to not overdo ourselves, but to do the all necessary things so we can be ready for the project. So far with me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So first, let's, let's start with the first thing. So let it be. Uh, so everyone knows the history of Angular, right? So Angular starts with version one. That version wasn't a popular one. After that, there is a rewrite of entire Angular, and uh, Angular 2 is released. Once the Angular 2 is released, it started capturing the market and becoming a popular. And everyone started liking it. Let me stop sharing my screen for a minute, because we are discussing the history. Just bear with me for a minute. Uh, I'll, I'll back. Sorry for the pause. So let's start. So there are so first it's Angular one and which has not been popular. I mean people are not don't like to use it much. There are few few projects develop on the Angular one, and after that the, the hero comes into the picture. That's Angular two. When Angular two launches, people started liking it. It's become a popular, and there is there is a uh, again there is a uh, there is something. Uh, I mean there are some new functionality added into the Angular then. Angular 3, 4, slowly, slowly started growing. Now, when it's growing, Angular team also ensures that we are not going to rewrite the entire thing. The only effort is made to optimizing the code so that it can be faster on the browser, as well as there will be a new functionality that supports the older functionality. So the one of the uh, one of the enhanced functionalities like Angular 6 come up with a HTTP uh, uh, HTTP module instead of having the HTTP, so that's that's a that's a good enhancement, or that's enhancement provide a uh, very simple way of doing the HTTP calls. Right. So now we understand 
there is Angular 2 and its subsequent versions, which is, you know, the popular one and everyone like to use it. So question, uh, so let's, let's start using the Angular now. Let's start learning the Angular now. So when we are starting learning the Angular, so we first need to set up the Angular. Okay, now how to set up it? So there is a NPM or Node Package Manager that is being used. Can someone tell me what is Node Package Manager or what is Node? It's a JavaScript runtime for running yeah. Java code outside of a browser. Perfect. Fine. So basically, Node is nothing but it's a JavaScript runtime. Either it has a JavaScript uh, JavaScript engine, like we know that Chrome has a JavaScript engine called as a VH, which allows to execute a JavaScript code. So similar engine or similar, yes, a similar engine exists within the Node that allow, allow us to run the JavaScript code outside of the browser. That is that is very simple. But why we use that to, I mean, why, why we need to use it when we are when we are working on the Angular? That's the second question. So there's, we need to understand what is NPM. Now the question is tweak a little bit, and I would like to ask you, what is NPM here? Node Package Manager. What is Package Manager? Uh, package manager is an installer. It's uh, means <coughs> it's downloaded code from uh, net a repository and install it on local machine. Uh, what are the dependency are there? So uh, it's mentioned by that. Yes. It's uh, it's uh, means it's read the package dot json file and download the necessary file as required for the project. Great, great. So let me share this with you. So basically, or let's like, yeah, just bear with me for a minute. So we are trying to understand what is Node Package Manager. So Node Package Manager is nothing but which has a package.json, so which has a package.json. And you can install the packages from the internet. Like if you wanted to use a JavaScript, you can go to the Node Package Manager so if you wanted to use a JavaScript, you can go to the Node Package Manager. And NPM I here. Right. Let me do see dot dot. Let me go to the day one because we are on the fourth day. Right. And uh, let me do a check. So I'm saying the NPM in it. So it will create a package dot JSON uh, for me. So it asking few things. What is what the package name you want to give and other stuff? I'm just uh, pressing the enter enter so it can pick up the default value. And let it be if I wanted to install a JavaScript. What I'll do npm i JavaScript. And oh, sorry, I wanted to install the jQuery. What I've been doing npm i jQuery. Okay. So it goes onto the internet, find the jQuery, and download for. So what it does, it goes onto the internet, find a jQuery, and download it for me. That is the npm node package manager. So if I go here, and if I look into under the day one, so there is a package or JSON and other stuff created. Node model is created, and if I looked into this, it has a reference to the jQuery, right? It says that hey, dependency is a jQuery, and, and it goes us. right. And it goes onto the internet and download the jQuery for me. So if you open the node module, node underscore modules, which contains all the modules that we wanted to download. So when when I say npm i or npm install jQuery to the node package manager, what it does, it goes onto the internet, find the jQuery for me, download it. It also maintains the version of that. It also maintains the version of that. So if the new version release and if you wanted to update it, we can perform the update. If we wanted to uninstall it, we can say the npm uninstall jQuery. It uninstall the jQuery from my from my project. So it manages it manages the package for the project. So it downloads the package and manages the package for the project. And that is why we are using the npm. Now we understand why we use npm, right? Yes. Cool. Now third question, which is very important. So I understand why we use npm. Everything is good. 
now we wanted to use angular okay so okay so if i wanted to use angular how my third question how we how we create a new project in angular um ng new ng ng space new exactly so there is a ng new angular okay and a project name hmm? so this is in this case this is angular website that is angular.io which is angular official website which tell us how to create a new project so it says that hey ng new angular and my project name is sorry ng new and my project name is angular to heroes okay okay so this is what my project name is now why we you what i mean if we have a node package manager why we not simply go and install angular why we need a ng here what are the advantage of using this ng ng is a cli command angular cli command why we need a angular cli it's uh, install the necessary dependency exactly and why why we not go and say the npm install angular what is wrong if i do that npm i angular what will happen it will install locally we want angular to be installed globally so you so we use the minus g flag minus so will it solve my problem it will create a new project for me in angular no it will just install angular and 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 it will make the ng command available globally no no i'll show you so i'll first install this and i'll show you what happens so if i do this i do this it will install angular first not angular 2 okay let install and if i go here if i go here and check my package dot json you will see reference to the angular what it what it what version it has 1.82 so it installed the angular 1 and not angular 2 or the latest version or not the latest version then why doesn't do that because set up in the angular project is a difficult task what is mean by the difficult task i show you so when you create an angular project so for that let's create for our angular project so i'll request you to everyone to fire this command so say ng new and the project that you wanted to create everyone please can can everyone can everyone execute this command everyone have a node right Install yes. on their machine, guys. Right. Please go ahead and create a new project in Angular, yes. and let me know once the it's done. So if I get a Py six confirmation, I can move ahead. Hi, I'm um, uh, I'm Sanjeev. Uh, I don't have uh, a network installing my system. So Sorry, say could you please say it loudly? I'm not able to hear you clearly. Yeah, hi, man. Uh, I don't have that uh, installation in my uh, PC. I'm joining today's first day uh, on this training. So right, yeah, right. yeah. My bad. My bad. Because when I interact with other folks, I understood that these are preparing for the Angular since a uh, long. I mean, since a three month and and what not. So, so I I I was under the impression that everyone has this, but this is a prerequisite. So what you can do, you can go through the recording of this session and you can execute the hands on. After after you complete, or uh, or you can directly install. If you have admin permission, you can directly go and install the node, or you can raise a ticket and ask the IT person to do that for you. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. So, why I want you to create the project because we have started going and understanding what when we fire the command, what we get, what CLI gives us. so when we depend on the cli it gives us a complete angular framework and that's why called angular as a framework because it has a multiple module within it angular is a framework it's not a library to download it using the npm package because npm package is used to download libraries and angular is a framework sorry uh anyone saying anything No, no. I think no. Okay. 
So let me quickly do this because that might create problem to my entire package. I don't know. Now we are using the company, which is my actual project. So everyone able to execute this command? Any problem to execute it? You also need an Angular CLR to be installed. OK, let me help you to install Angular CLR. Everyone have an Angular CLR installed? Anyone? Oh, in, in CMD, yes. it will not happen? Yes, I have. I have. No. Sorry, see, uh, can you repeat your question? Yeah, in CMD, it will not uh, run? Actually, in CMD, I have run ngmu Maya. So you can, what you can do, I'll show you. So you can do like this, ng minus minus version. Sorry, it's ng minus minus version. Just give me that. I'll show. You. I'll show you. So you need to check if the ng is installed. That version. So yeah, it's ng minus minus version. So you need to execute this command. So if you minus minus version and check if you're getting anything. It's not NPF. It's NPF, yeah. So you need to check your uh, version of your Angular CLR. Else it is simple. npm i r t h angular slash cli cli. This is the command you need to execute. Sorry, place minus g before that. npm minus g i angular cli. So, what is the meaning of i? I mean install. No. Uh, yes, i mean install. Minus g means globally. So, huh. what you are saying, the angular. Uh, what you're saying to the node package manager hey give me the angular cli and create it uh, i mean install it globally so i can execute it for all the project i can use it for all the project yes i for install instead of that you can write the install also it is mm -hmm. minus minus install i believe so mm -hmm. so anyone facing any challenge while doing it uh <coughs> No, sir. I, I have executed ng new command, so mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's saying the option. Would you like to add Angular routing? Okay. So for this project, we are not going not going to choose Angular routing. So you can say no. Okay. Thank you for asking. And CSS, uh, CSS or say plain CSS. No, no CSS. Don't if you don't go with it. See, plain CSS is fine. I okay. mean, we are not going to you do any CSS here. Because mm -hmm. I, I believe you people are exporting CSS, so I'm I'm shouldn't be going in that territory. Okay, so now installing packages. Sorry. Am I? I have shared a screenshot in our group. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. when I press ng hyphen hyphen version, I am get, getting this. Can you check that in that uh, group? Right. So may I ask you, if you try to create a project, you're not able to write this group. Uh, could you please share your screen? Yeah. I, oh, OK. Yeah. Uh, you can use only ngp without uh, hyphen. Without minus minus. OK. Let me check once again. Hi, Amar. 
I I actually face one problem that uh, in CMD that to which uh, they require that which style sheet format would you like to use, and uh, uh, what would you, which style which style sheet format would you like to use? That there is a CSS as is. Use anything. We are not going to use single single word of CSS. Or if we are using a CSS, I mean we are not going to use CSS. So what we'll do in this in this? May I share the screen? Yeah, sure, sure. Please go ahead. Use the CSS can... one. Use the CSS. Actually, my screen is shared. I think. Anyone screen shared? Uh, just so yeah. it asks you to choose the CSS as admin or any other format that you would like to go bootstrap or any other thing. Uh, choose a simple, simple plain CSS and move ahead. Uh, sir, uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. So, so I have uh, did this first uh, ng version. After yeah. that, uh, I no, 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 no. Do ngv, ng space v. Uh, this is yeah only v. Right. But once I did this, I am getting the same comment from this. You have type uh, ng minus single dash v oh, without yes. dash. NGV, like, enter. Hmm. Do enter. Now it should print the Angular. Angular CLI, CLI version of showing here. Hmm. Now, now, now you have hmm. Angular CLI. Now you go ahead and create a new version. Uh, here I can do that, right? Yeah, yeah you can do that. So I have already did this in a, yeah, yeah. Right now it's working. CSS. So I, have go, I have also faced this. Right. this so what choose CSS do? and press enter. Enter. Okay, we are fine with CSS. Just press enter. Yeah. You can press enter, enter, and just go ahead. We don't. If you choose a routing, you did not choose a routing. That's fine, because we're not going to use it in our first day. No. Yeah, so I think in my folder, yeah, this is. So everyone is. Uh, I mean, on the same page where uh, who is sharing? Miss, Miss the vision. Yeah. Okay. Miss, me here. Yeah. Okay. So everyone is with me here. I mean, they are. They can able to see the same thing, right? Yes. Sir. Great. So once we're done with the Miss installation, we'll we'll proceed. So we'll wait for a Miss installation to complete. I think it will depend upon the internet speed. Someone <laughs> might wish to do first. Why? Okay, let it be that. Let mm -hmm. it be. But for average, it would be like you are installing and everyone is having. And meanwhile, also we can proceed further and everyone can catch up with. So those who are lagging behind, please, please uh, install. I mean, please try to create a project. If you don't have an Angular CLI, install the Angular CLI by using uh, npm minus g space i space iterate Angular slash backslash uh, CLI. Just tell me one more. So I am writing here. NPM, so NPM, NPM minus g minus g. I space I iterate Angular backslash CLI. That's it. Done. So I am giving to our group also. Please, okay. please. So please Those who do not have Angular CLI, they can do it. After this installation, you just need to say that uh, ng v, ng space v, you can also give that ng space v. You check the version. So it will tell you which version of CLI you have. After that, you can execute a command, and that command is ng new, ng space new, Angular, uh, pro your project name, whatever the project name you wanted. ng new and the project name. Mm. 
project group. Great. So these are the three commands. And giving here also in this group and this group also. So uh, I believe that you, your project is got created, right? Yes, um, uh, my installation is also completed. Okay, completed. let me let me share my screen and so let's... yeah, so I am stopping this. Now the question where we stuck is why we use the Angular CLI, right? And why not npm packet? So let me know once you're able to see my screen. So here in my project, if you if you go. Within the SRC in my case, and if you go here, there is a package.json. Everyone can see the package.json, mm -hmm. yes, which yes. has a dependency. So these are the packages installed when we use the Angular CLI. Now, these all packages are installed by the Angular CLI for us. Okay, so we if we if we wanted to, I mean, if you notice here, these packages are Angular animation, Angular common, Angular compiler, Angular core, Angular form. So these so Angular is broken down into a multiple package. It's not a single bundle together. So Angular is broken down into a multiple packages or multiple modules. Okay. And that is why we require Angular CLI. So Angular is itself broken down into a multiple modules. So what are these modules like Angular animation, Angular core, Angular compile, and uh, Angular common, Angular forms? These are the different modules. Now to start an Angular project, you need to have a bundle of the modules bundle of the Angular modules, and that's why we use the Angular CLI. Now, everyone are with me, why we use Angular CLI? Yes. Okay. So all, all the dependency, it will do by own. We do not have to do anything. Exactly. Do it also installed the RxJS and other stuff. Yes, got it. OK, so that's why we are using Angular CLI. OK, now we use the Angular CLI and create our first project. So congratulations, we have started with our first project. So I'll, I'll show you my project is a bit different than you because I don't want it to go with a traditional Angular what they give. So, but uh, you can also adapt like me or you can stay with what Angu I'm in. OK, so let's start further. OK, so there is an index.html. Can everyone able to find it? Actually, my installation is going on. So, okay, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait till you find the index. No, I can able to see the index right. inside the SLC folder. Let's wait for everyone. So I'll also take a I'll, I'll back in a minute by drinking a water. So there yeah. you I believe now everyone can able to see the index.html. Yes. So if they notice the index.html, so this is how our index.html look, or this is nothing but our HTML page, which will be deploying on server, or this page is nothing but that is being considered as a single page. So Angular is a single page application, or Angular provides to create a project for a single page application. What it means by there is only a single page, there is no, no multiple page involved, other things, there is only a one HTML page, and other thing will be rendered within that page. So if you notice, in my case, it's app root, which is which is nothing but used to load our Angular code. So this is within the body. When you if you notice the app root, this is being used to render code. Okay, whatever our Angular code we will be writing will be rendered within this app root or rendered by this app root. This is a selector. To render by the app. Now, how this? Okay, so let's let's start looking at to these files, configs files. Okay, so how Angular knows that? Hey, which is the startup? What? Where? Where from? I need to start. So everyone knows the package or JSON, right? So the package or JSON have a dependency that we have seen just now. Now, if you can see the script, which has a different script, start script. So ng serve is to use to start the ng server. 
and check our output. So if you wanted to test our code, we should be doing ng sub or instead of that, we can simply do the npm start. npm build is used to build a project. npm watch is to okay okay so npm watch i believe that it's it's a it's like you can uh it's push the watcher i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't used it much but it i believe that it's build a project also you can watch your changes i mean you've done the changes on your server it reflects into your build code also so that's what this watch is working for then there is a test that is nothing but to use your test if you have a unit testing that is you be used within your core project so this is uh, Angular is pre-configured with uh, Karma and Jasmine. So that's what you can, from where you can run your test. Again, a disclaimer, we are in this, in this series, we are not focusing on the unit testing. We are only focusing on the core Angular features. So this test, I can conduct another session with you where I'll be teaching you the Karma and Jasmine specifically for two hours. But yes, this entire series, we are not touching test because we are only focusing on the part that is required to do to be an Angular developer. Okay, so let's move on. Let's move ahead. So dependencies we 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 looked into. Now, what is this dev dependency? Anyone know what is different between the dependencies and dev dependencies? No. Okay. So when you deploy your application, dependencies. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I think uh, when we and dependencies, uh, are dependencies are used during production and dev dependencies are used during only during development. Exactly. That is what it is. So when you learn your code onto the local or you wanted to build your code, uh, when you wanted to uh, do the check-in and whatnot and whatnot, you, you set up a development environment for which you wanted to execute something like your test, you wanted to execute. Like if you can see the Jasmine core and the Karma is installed as a dev dependency. It means that, uh, hey, it means that it is simple that when you wanted to do a development that time, this thing is being used. And when you deploy or when you go to the production deployment, that this time, that time it's not being used. Like the TypeScript is not being executed by the browser. Browser just simply execute the JS code. So the TypeScript is not required when you create an actual production build and deploy everything onto the production. So that time, whatever necessary things are there, that only get uh, that only get bundled. So yeah, I'll 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 explain you what is bundle or how Webpack bundles the things. But the Webpack will create a bundle based on these dependencies, and the dev dependency it will not include when it creates the production build. That's that's how it's simple. So when you run your code onto your local or your dev environment, that time only the dev dependencies come into the picture. Okay, so let's let's go into the uh, configuration, ES config, there is one ES config, and there is angular.json. This is very important part. So now if you go into the angular.json, everyone can able to go within the angular.json or can able to see the angular.json? Yes. Okay, so you can see here the source, right? Source root. So here it's SRC maintain. What it mean by? You will get your source code within your SRC folder. Simple. Then here is the output part. So if you do the NPM build, it creates everything within the disk customer application. Okay. It creates within your disk and customer application. What is polyfill? Polyfill is very simple. Polyfill, I mean, the polyfill is an external package which is used by an Angular. Like if you uh, I mean, as you know, your code is getting your TypeScript code. So Angular internally use TypeScript. So everything that you write uh, are either Angular provide a by default support to the TypeScript. So that is why you can see the TypeScript dot JSON. Uh, sorry, that you you can see the TS config dot JSON. So these are this is the configuration file for the TypeScript. So like we know, it it has a source and a target. So if I check the target, it says that hey. When, whenever you compile the TypeScript code, I'll generate the ES uh, ECMAScript 2022 code. Okay. But there are some browser, older browser, which doesn't support the ECMAScript 2020 code. So that time the polyfills comes into the picture. And what it does, it provides the uh, 
it converts that code or somehow it's added the extra code that's why these code can be supported by the older browser so it is used to support your uh, compile code uh, it's used to support your i mean it used to support the ecmascript code by the older browser polyfills is used to support your ecmascript code uh, by the older browser okay so we are at angular.json so that's what the polyfill is doing and ts config we are referring to the ts config configuration file to paste the uh paste the typescript settings and right so it has a other information like the test to run the your uh test project then the extract iit man is localization this server is something we uh creating the uh, production and development server for our angular code okay now it will uh, now if you notice here within this architecture it mentioned that src index.html and it also mentioned the src main.ts so this is nothing but our entry point to our angular application so our html and main.ts are the entry point to our angular application what i mean by so when you first ask for your angular code within the browser it loads your html file also it calls to the main.ts okay to provide the meaning for app.read okay now what is in your what is in your main.ts it in main.ts it you it calls the platform browser dynamics and says that hey platform browser dynamic or the or the component platform uh, browser dynamic tell me which is my bootstrap module or which module i'll be starting for when i'm starting my angular project which is my bootstrap module so it says that hey this is your bootstrap module app module is your bootstrap module or which will be start when you load your angular okay now if you go within your app module this is a ng module or this is a module so what th what thing module has module has a okay this is like going into okay so angular has two things module and a component okay so component are part of the module module is like a bigger repository and component are part of the module so when we start our project we said that there is a i mean if you don't understand this fully it's fine because while going through this course we are going to revise this thing and you can able to grasp this clearly but you can consider that when we when we start a project there is a root module that is being invoked this root module has a something called as a ng module which has a declaration in the declaration what comes all the components that present within the module this component are nothing but we created all the component that comes of or whatever the components we are created should be uh, i mean should be part of that model should be uh, i mean should be declared within the declarations import is something that is angular own module import has some uh, something that is angular own module like in this we are using a browser module okay in this we are using a browser module and then there is a providers which you can neglect at this time there is a bootstrap bootstrap is nothing but hey in my so let it be i am having a two two component okay so i am having a app component one up here an app component out of which which component i wanted to load which component i wanted to load when so when this module is being loaded so that is decided by the bootstrap okay bootstrap is nothing but a starting point of this module so this app component is a starting point of this module now if i go within this app component you will see this selector this selector is nothing but a selector that we are using in our html tags so far with me yes we are using the same yes. selector within our html tag so how have we gone here we first loaded the html then we start after a bit up along with the html we load the main.ts and the main.ts from which we say is that hey bootstrap module which is our first module which i wanted to go with this first module is nothing but a app module in my case and mostly with uh, with angular default structure and from the app module we say that hey this is the my components i will be having in my case there is only one component you can have n number of components here and out of which you, you can also do the imports where you say that the angular models comes within the imports 
in declaration all r component come within here and all angular component come within the imports okay whatever let me write whatever angular component come here and this is r component r Okay, so this is R component, this is Angular component. So within import, Angular components are there. Within declaration, R components are there. And then there is a bootstrap which says that, hey, out of R component, which will be, we are considered wanted to start up component. So here we can write one to how many components we want, but out of which there should be only one startup component and which, which we say in the bootstrap. Okay, so this is our startup component. Now this component has a specific structure. So these component has a specific structure. So let me, uh, let's go, I mean, let's try to understand what is component, okay? So component, you you can, you can have, you need to have a, okay, so let's go with this syntax. So what is this syntax according to you? These are decorator, uh, what component decorator. What is decorator? Uh, decorator is a uh, angular uh, function it's where we can declare make selectors uh, templates and styles that's it, that's it. so these decorator are something not new in java also there is called as the uh, attributes and in dot net also there is something which is similar to the decorator so these decorator are nothing but you decorate something why they call the decorator or it is attribute you attribute something on top of your class to give uh, I mean, and it is working as a pre-processor or post-processing logic. In our case, it is a pre-processing logic. So what it does, it it some what it does, it adds the additional functionality or gives the additional functionality to this this class. So this is not this is not a simple class. Once you decorate it with a component, it becomes a component. When you decorate within a component, it becomes a component. So in .NET, if you would have with the .NET code, it's something like someone might be like class ABC, and they wanted to declare it as a component. Uh, sorry, they wanted to declare it as a controller. So what they does is simply say this is as a controller. Now it's become a controller. Before it's very simple class, but now when you say controller on top of it, it become a controller of MVC. Okay. So similar case, similar case with the Angular. When you use a decorator. When you use a decorator, your simple class gets uh, some superheroic features. When you use a decorator, your simple class gets a superheroic feature. So it's a pre-processing, post-processing logic that it, that gives a class superheroic feature. Okay. In this component, now what is the structure of a component? So in a component, we have a selector. This selector, we already seen that. This selector is nothing but a HTML tag, which, which, okay. Now, before we understand this, we need to understand what is Angular. Okay, so let's let's try to understand that. So, according to you, what is Angular? Angular is a JavaScript framework, hmm. which uh, which is used MVC, to make MVC, it, uh, MVC single page application. Single page application. Okay. okay. What is MVC? Single page application. Exactly. Yeah. It it can you can call it MVC. What is MVC? MVC model view and controller. Exactly. And what is controller in case in this case? Where is our controller? Where is our model? Where is our view? Um, uh, so view is our component, uh, just HTML page. Mm -hmm. And controller is our this TS page is controller. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, CSS uh, style is uh, uh, MVC model view. Alan, don't worry, don't worry. I'll help you. Okay. So basically, what is MVC stand for view? So what is view? What we can see on the browser is called a simple view. Okay. Till that point, you are with me. So what is view view on the browser? It's nothing but a HTML or a DOM structure. Okay. Hmm. So in our case, this is our view. Simple HTML. Okay. Hmm. So far with me? Yes. If I haven't yes. closed my view. Let me close it. Okay. 
so this is nothing but r cube okay now there is a model what is model model is nothing but a class which sorry here is nothing our model but model is nothing but a class which has a some structure okay which has a some structure that is that is equivalent to the ui structure like let it be if on the ui we are showing the three things first name second name and the last name what is our model will be everyone please try to understand this on the ui if we are showing first name second name and the last name what our model will be what is model in mvc what is model so let it be v view is nothing but our html and let it be on the view we have something sort of uh, let it be first name second name and the last name our 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 model will be having the same properties as that of the view so in our model will be having first name as a string and last name right last name as a string so this is nothing but our model okay now we require something which sticks i mean we require something which flourish our model i mean what is mean by flourish our model which creates the instance of our model and put the value within it and displays that value to our view or the take the value from the view and send it to our model so we require something blue so what is flurry called us it takes two things so in our case also we require uh, require a stickiness or we require a code behind or we require something that sticks our view to this model right our view to this model and that is why we mvc comes into the picture so superhero mvc says that hey i'll give you a functionality called as a component i'll give you a functionality called as a component which sticks your which sticks your html with your which sticks your html with your model so in our case we we have we are having the deleted which sticks your html with this model person and this sticking can be done with using this component okay so that's what the component is that's what the angular is so angular is nothing but a mbw so w stand for whatever so it doesn't enforce that you should be calling it controller this is uh, this you component you will be calling a component a uh, uh, controller you can call it whatever you like you can call it a code behind or you can call simply call it as a component or you can call it as a controller so it gives you a freedom to call it a, anything so it says that i am mbw architecture where you can call this sticky part or whatever it is so my job is to stick your html with the model and you can call me anything but this can be happen using a component so this component takes three parameters okay let's see that selector we already seen that if i go to the html page i'll be having the same this uh, same tag with this selector name which will be which help me to load my html Help, help help me to load my html so everything here will be getting will uh, i mean yes will be load within this uh, i mean for this tag will be replaced for this tag approved tag and will be uh, getting load within the browser and this title if you notice this title this is coming from the component this is coming from the component so this title we are declare here which we wanted to print it on our html and that's how we are printing it so this is this syntax is called the interpolation syntax it's simple the interpolation syntax or you can simply say it as a print syntax for your knowledge purpose for your understanding purpose so whenever you see this syntax it's called the interpolation or you can simply say it as a print syntax where whatever within your component it prints that whatever within your component it prints that so it is nothing but a glue which glues the title to this html page or it sticks the title to this html page and that is the job of the angular so angular is a binding framework which binds your html with your component sorry which binds your html with your model using a component in our case it's a simple application so i have created a component let's create a component very soon but before we going ahead with a component let's talk about this structure now angular so you notice there is here is a app so why we why angular created a app within the srp what is the significance here app dot component app dot component dot html and why everything is component here 
that is the root file right but why everything is component that's my question and why name is app app is app is the name of root yes no i'll tell you so, so simply angular says that within the src you can include your project so let it be if you are having a two project you will be having a two app app one app two so far with me yes okay now is app nothing but a project so let it be if you are working on the cca project okay so so your app will be having a name cca according to the angular standards okay so you can say that a cca app so far with me and why why this everything is called component because angular says that when i create a component i means what is my component is nothing but it contains the three things it contains the html it contain my component uh, it contain my component it contains this html and it contain the model and these everything it called called as a one unit i i can see i can hear my echo so if anyone has a, a i mean i request you to mute your mute yourself so i can uh, speak okay let's continue so these nothing but it consider as a single unit a component is a single unit which consists of these three also the css part i exclude the css but you can you can consider okay it has a template url which refers to the html it has a template url along after the selector it has a template url which refer to the html part and after that there is a style sheet which which is nothing but array so you can have a multiple style sheets here if you like to have and which has the css so it says that whatever css you wanted to include on for your component that you can include using the style url okay so okay there is also global style sheet where you can have a global css and for a component wise css you can include within uh, you can include your css here in the style url okay so as of now we will not be talking about in this tutorial we are not talking about the style url will be more focus on this selector and the template url and will be exploring the more functionalities of the angular okay now li like we like we see here this is the entry point of the angular and uh, i mean the when we use the angular cli it's install the packages for us okay it's install the packages for us now there is something sign here right what is this sign mean and there is there is a sign here what is this sign mean that means after that version all are supported like this what this is still sign mm. Still sign. Okay. What is sign mean? Anyone? Okay. The latest version. Latest version. What is? So let it be. If the RIGS has a latest version eight, it will refer to the eight, eight point zero point zero. So this is the latest version of RIGS. No, I think after seven uh, point, all are uh, supported like this. So you tell me. What do you think? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Don't worry. So this is this is nothing related with Angular. It's related with a Node package. So in Angular or React, whenever you created a package, anything the anything you pack, uh, any, anything you called as a Node package, which you can download using the npm, right? Anything which you called a Node package has a versioning. Okay. So this versioning divided into three parts. So the major version, the first is a major version, second is a minor version, and third you call as a reference. Okay. So first one is a major version, minor version, and third is a reference. Now, this reference, when you, I mean, these like you created a package version 1.0.0 or 1.0.0, okay, and you realize that there are some bugs where I release this version, or there are patch code of things which I wanted to add, and you started adding it. When you added a patch code of thing or you fixes the bug, you are not hampering the existing functionality. Or you are not adding a new functionality, so that goes into your reference, or that goes into the last bit of your version, third bit of your version, which is nothing but a reference, which con contains a bug fixes and patch code uh, and patch fixes, bug fixes and patch fixes. So far with me. So yes. Now for this bug fixes and patch fixes, 
you shouldn't these these i mean let it be there is a version of rhs let it be version 7.8.0 and someone fix a bug right someone fix a bug and release a new version if someone fix a bug and release a new version so that will be this is a bug fix so that will be goes as 7.8.1 okay that is a bug fix now if someone fix a bug you don't want it to say you don't want it to change here and say that hey i wanted to change here and i wanted to go for this this should be automatic right and that's why this sign is being used so all the patch fixes and the bug fixes will be updated or will be taken automatically right and for that this sign will be used so anything i mean even if you are reference zero so there is a something so what is different between the pack uh, uh, package.json and package.log package uh, package log.json anyone wanted to go for it package dot log i guess uh, where version are initially whatever the version we are uh, in, installed that version is locking there so exactly mm -hmm. exactly so what is difference is i'll tell you so basically i we just discuss right so here here what it means by you can have any version so here what it mean ka by so if i wanted to write it down in other word it mean ka it it mean that you can have any version so you, when you do the npm i it will go on to the browser and check any version between 7 7.8 infinity or let us let it be to uh, or 7.0 to 7.8 let so what it does it it can it can pick the latest version so it it can have a version 0 or let it be there is a version 1 which is latest tomorrow there will be a 2 which is latest day after tomorrow there will be a 3 which is latest right so when you whenever you perform the npm install what it does it takes the latest version of this package with a patch uh, with the latest patch okay latest patch or the bug fix and it in install that and whenever it install that it has a package dot log it it makes a entry into the package dot log about it so the package dot log will be having the exact version of this package dot log will be having the exact version of this in our case i am i haven't done the npm install so it it's not mentioning the exact version so it it current in no it mentioned the exact version so in my case the current version is 7.8.0 so if i go into my Uh, load model it will be the 7.8.0 so the package log package dot log will be having the exact version name and here it says that hey it can be uh, here it defines that which version we wanted to pick so here i am saying that hey i wanted to pick the latest version now okay now what is the what is the significance of this syntax so whenever there is this the second version refer to the minor version or the additional of functionality so let it be if i am adding a new functionality right i am adding a new functionality so it's not it doesn't depend on the existing functionality so it it doesn't hamper the uh, existing functionality so in the angular common i am adding a new functionality which doesn't affect the existing functionality and it completely adds a new functionality that time i'll be changing my minor version saying that i am adding a new functionality and if i am introducing a breaking change if i am introducing any breaking change then i'll be or if i'm introducing some big change which which hampers the existing functionality or which modifies the existing functionality so if you go to the new version your existing functionality will not work that time i'll be having the major version change so this sign so this sign this sign you are seeing here it tells that hey it tells that automatically takes a latest of minor version automatically takes the latest of minor version and the major version we have to do manually we don't need we have to specify the latest while we wanted to install the npm package or we have to yes we have to perform the npm update manually and it doesn't i mean the in the package or the json there is nothing called as a, uh, there is no syntax that goes and update the major version uh, major version without informing us so only the minor version and the patch or the bug fix version is updated automatically this syntax updates the patch or the reference version automatically 
and this syntax update the minor version automatically. So far with me? Yes. Cool. Cool. Now, okay. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is, there is, let, let's see. Let's see another command that is npm build and what it does. Now, when I'm saying the npm build, just bear with me for a minute. It's npm build or npm run, right? That's I'm good. Right, so it's npm run there. Only the npm start execute like that, but for other thing we have to specify the npm run. Okay, so I'm doing the npm run build. So when I do the npm run build, what it does, it goes within the package manager and try to find the npm build, and it does the ng build. So when it does the ng build, there is something called as a wait path which goes, so you understand the concept of bundling and minification, what is bundling and minification according to you? The minification is a, uh, means uh, is compress the files, JavaScript file. Um, what compress? What is bundling compress or minification is a compression? Minification is a compression. And what is bundling then? Bundling means it includes all the files uh, necessary for the projects into a single uh, folder. And how right. that bundle? How it bundle? In a JS file. No, no, but how it start bundling the thing? How it know what to bundle, what not to bundle? It's uh, included in package.json. Okay. So it works based on the import. Okay. So it works based on the import, which is done by the TS TypeScript. So these are the import. So you, uh, I'll show you. Okay. So here there are two imports, right? So these import is nothing but an Angular import, okay? This tells us the Angular we are importing this package. And this is nothing but a TypeScript import, which, which used by the TypeScript to import the package. So what it mean by it actually being imported from the node model, okay? Actually, actually being used from the node model. So this package should be present within the node model and we are using it. That's what this import ensures. And this import tells the Angular CLI or tells the Angular server that we are importing this or we are using it. Okay. So what, what Webpack does is Webpack goes to your Webpack start from here. Webpack sees these all TypeScript import and start downloading them or start bundling them together. So here it says that, hey, this is system one. So it bundles it into a different bundle and this is app model is R. So it bundles it into a different bundle. So far with me? Yes. Okay. So it bundles into the different. So this is what that's what the wave pack does. So when we do the npm build, it will be if our build is completed. So these are the file generators. What are these files for? What is main.ts or what is main.js, which is got generated? Or main.js, yes. What is main.js? Our whole application. Okay, and what is polyfill? Polyfill is for that, uh, old uh, browser support, support old, older version for supporting older version. And what is runtime? Not sure about it. Okay, so this is how it is. So basically, our Webpack to load or Webpack to start bundling, it requires some JS files. And that JS file present inside the runtime.js. The polyfills help a new ES version to run on the old browser. The vendor.js is nothing but R code and main.js. Uh, main, uh, main this is pointed to the first model of our project.
okay so apart from main js uh, we could expect some more js file js bundle file exactly so if we are loading if we are doing the lazy loading at that time what it does it creates the main.js as well as the different other js file based on our 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 requirement so if we are saying that the xyz load uh, i mean xyz load, do a lazy loading for it it creates a separate bundle for it okay we'll see when this comes on once you progress so so far you understand the meaning of okay and let's see where it is so if i go here if i go into my src and my index.html do you see any reference to these files no so where are these files there so if you open your dis folder and if you go to the index.html you will find reference to them Are you able to? Yes. So currently, what we when we run it on the local, we have the Angular server with us, right? So it manages the thing. But when we are do, going for a static deployment or when we are doing the build of it, that time we do require it to load our application, and that's why. Uh, that's why they their reference to i mean their script is being loaded on the index of html and you can see these files too. okay so okay so now let's 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 enough talking let's do some hands on so let's let's we, we see that our angular is nothing but a binding or it is a glue that sticks the html to our model okay so what i what am i i'm doing i'm i'm changing my structure of angular little bit so let me let me look at let's go back there is few things i missed let me cover that so there is so angular has some naming convention like it says that hey this app is nothing but your application or your project so if you are having let it be a cca project it will be cca app if you are having some project then your project start with cca app dot component dot css cca app dot component dot html whatever these are the angular naming convention so if you go on to a uh, so there is a side I, I just give me a minute so if you go on to the angular style guides you will notice this standard so let me go here You go on to the angular style guide you will notice these standards that is defined by the angular now is it mandatory to follow these standards no it's absolutely not but your project has some standards that everybody agrees to and everybody wants to follow like in his case he will be creating the app heroes and what not and what not i don't follow this app i change this with application name of mine and every project has a standard where it says that hey let's use a camel casing let's use a this case so when you are going going on the project it's very important to read their project standards file so you can understand what standard my project follows okay for our demo purposes what we are going to do is we are going to create a customer application we are going to create a customer application right so our application is customer application and if you notice it is in the src day two if you notice within the src i'll be having a customer app okay i'll be instead of app here i'll be having a app instead of app my project name is haven sorry for my code so in uh, under the src i'll be having a app instead of that i'll be having here customer app because i'll be using a customer application okay and everything within that i'll be saying that hey customer app so my prefix is customer app because that's my application name customer app dot customer component customer app customer view because i'll be creating a mvc structure so that's why i chosen this naming convention so i'll be having a view i'll be having a component okay and i'll be having a model and within the model i'll be having this simple structure so what i am doing is that if you know if you see on my page i'll be 
okay so now okay i'll be i'll be creating a customer code customer name and customer amount these are the two text field i'll be creating okay and i'll be creating a component for that so i'll be having a customer code customer name and customer amount okay so if you go into the my model if you go into the my model so i'll be having a customer code customer name and customer amount what is our component which is glues between the our html and this okay so what it does it it first has a selector which is a app root we seen that this app root is being referred onto the html page okay then there is a template url which point to the view then we also instantiate a customer class within it saying the customer model okay we instantiate a customer class within it saying the customer model or creating the class variable called as a customer model okay and what we does is that within our html within our html we also created the three properties like customer code customer name and customer amount where we say the customer model dot customer code customer model dot customer name and customer model dot customer amount okay where is this customer model coming from from our component first component has the instance of our uh, our model okay customer component has a instance of our model and here if you notice i removed the css and other extra parameters and i am just using a selector and a template url selector and a template url the template url the our component refer to the html here our component refer to the html that we wanted to use for our component here it reuse to the tag or using using by our component can be loaded within the html okay within the other component or within a simple html using this our component can within this tag our component can be loaded within other component or within a html and this is the template url from which we refer to the template then within this customer component we create the instance of the class and this is directly get bind to or directly get attached using this customer component to our view and from there we can directly refer to refer it as a customer component that customer code customer component that name or we can refer this property right so we having this properties with our within our within our customer class or which is nothing but our model so everyone is with me right everyone understand that our component is gluing together view and a and a model right yeah. it's sticking our view and the uh, our view and the model okay so this is customer model so i request you to also start with customer application okay you can rename your app with a whatever name you want or you can keep it as it is if you wanted to go with my naming convention you can rename rename as customer app and you can create a model now please create a model okay you uh, if you wanted to move with me please create a model customer model everyone please start creating a model within your project so you are you are there right you are here you will be having something called as a app right now you can start renaming it to the customer app your app rename it as a customer app then yeah, rename that okay okay yeah please right. right everyone are with me or they yes. lost so rename this app yes. to the customer application let's let's follow strictly with me rename this app to the customer application okay once you rename this app to the customer app within that you can use this as a prefix customer app dot customer component rename cus component to the customer component then say that customer app dot customer view dot html okay and Lincoln then say <laughs> customer sorry just leaking slow <laughs> yeah customer app dot component this is okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Here we have a lot of time because we are not hurrying around anything. So try to change your project. So as we are moving on the day, I'll be having a separate project, but you are sticking on to the same project and you are changing along the things along with me as I'm taking you to the next next days. So just create these three properties still here. okay and while you are creating let me explain you what is this ng model so once you done let me know so i can start explaining what is ng model on the follow till this line number 
customer code, customer name, and customer amount, and create a model for that. I'm going again. You can have a customer component within that declare. Uh, I mean, you will be having a root template URL. You will be having it. You need to change it to the your new name, customer app dot customer, uh, and you also need to change your import accordingly because you are renaming the things. Your import should be changed accordingly. So I have changed this model to also a customer model. Okay, customer app dot module. I change this module, not model. This module to also a customer module. Where we are having the ng module, which has a declaration where we are de declare the customer component. Everyone, when they finish till this, let me know. So everyone, when they change everything to the customer app, let me know, and everything to the customer component and other stuff. And here within the along with the browser module, also import the form modules. For as of now, you import it because we will be going to use it. Why? Because we'll be creating a form sooner. Can someone share a screen so I can help you? And we can go with the error if they are getting anything. I can share. Yeah, please. Can you see my? Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. So you need to change the app to the customer app. Yeah. C capital. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dot customer mm -hmm. component. So this guy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but we wanted to go that the customer view dot HTML because we are following the view model. So go for a customer view or or or. Yeah. Can I change this, uh, yeah, this TS? Yeah. Also change this TS. This is the customer component. And change app to the customer. First change all app to the customer app. Let's go one step by one. So mm -hmm. everyone can follow you. But change all app to the customer, customer app. Customer app. OK. OK. Yes. Perfect. Say no, say no, say no. Let's do it manually. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, so, uh, uh, OK, now you're done with this. Now add another file, delete this two file uh, module. We change this module to the customer module or customer app dot module. Okay. Everyone, please, please change ac accordingly. AP is capital. A is capital. A, A capital. A capital. Okay. Right. Model not used. Okay. Now, no. now you change your so delete your state file because we are not going to use it. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. now you you create okay you have a customer app module dot ts which is correct customer component customer customer okay customer view dot html customer view dot html right right because you have a customer component customer view and let's have a module so, uh, so customer, customer change component to view okay capital view. Yeah. Right. Customer view, C U S T U L. Oh, sure. Write a customer view. Okay. Okay. Now, now you go to your uh, module. 
no add first another file let's add another file and name it as add another file ts file no 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 on top of there is a syntax to add a file you see the two icons on top of it these are the two uh, on the right hand yeah, this one this one okay. new file right and hmm. name it as a customer module customer app dot customer app dot module dot module dot ts yes. okay hmm. and within that create a class customer class Okay, okay. Oh, this was my... No, no. Have you created another file? Yes, yeah. Uh, let me check. It's, it's not allowing me to. No file. Okay. Customer. Uh, just me. Customer app dot model. Model. Okay. Model dot ts. Yes. Yes. Aim should be in small. Okay. So, so module is fine. Now it's fine. Now okay. create a. Uh, no, no. I just asking the uh, name is okay. Customer app dot module dot yes. M should be in small. Ah, uh -huh. M is small box. Okay. So uh, uh, what should I write here? Class. Class. Customer. Customer. And declare three property name amount. And declare a three property. I'll mm -hmm. tell you the name, customer code, customer name, and customer amount. Customer name. Code. Customer name string. Mm -hmm. Okay. Empty string. Mm -hmm. Name. Sorry, sorry. Equal, not equal, single equal. Mm -hmm. Customer. Customer code. String, String and customer amount. Number. Number is L, L small. L small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put English this. English to zero. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. Now you go into your model component and create an instance of your model, customer model. Uh, what where should I go? You go into your component. Okay. This is HTML. Uh, component. You you have a customer app dot customer component dot ts. Yes. Go within that. There is a title, right? Below yes. the title. Right, yes. customer model, and uh, create. I mean, the data type. Write the customer model first. That's what I write. Cause it pays enter. Yeah. Customer model, C capital. Okay. M O D E L. M capital. Okay, and it's data type like we have string, right? Yes. So, so okay. this is customer. So, uh, yeah. two dot customer. Thing should I mention? Sorry. So, so right customer. So it automatically imports, right? Oh. Okay. You don't have auto imports. Do a imports of customer. You export there, right? Do a import here. Go to the line mm -hmm. number two. I press import. enter. Import. I import. I am PORT. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Perfect. like the component, right? Here you need to write a customer. Okay. From. I think, uh, sir, it is giving error. So I think uh, they are have to change first, right? This uh, step. We will, do, we'll do, we'll do step oh. by step. Okay. Yes, first import customer. From. And then the path. If I over, single dot mm -hmm. underscore under yeah single dot uh, underscore customer and under customer the file name model okay. model and okay 
module and model whatever and that's it so you are using a customer so here you will be instead of string you will be saying customer okay on uh, yeah customer model control z string instead of string okay 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 String and customer. Okay. Okay. Equal to new customer. Okay. Cool. Now do change this select selector is a template URL. You need to change it to the customer app dot. I got it. No, no. Go go on to the component. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. Go on to the component. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Right. So the in, within the component line number five selector is correct. Line mm -hmm. number six template URL. These you need to change to your new template URL. Yes, so what I is your it. HTML file name? Yes, yes, I've got it. And remove one HTML. Yes. Ha, right. And remove that style. Uh, it will mm -hmm. be the MTRH file. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you are set. Your everything is good. Okay, now go to the your view. Okay, and delete this. Control A. Mm -hmm. And just create a three properties. Customer code. Uh, so should I write uh, insert a DB here? I'll ping you. Mm -hmm. Because it's very simple, right? So it's actually the same. I mean, you just take it from what I've given you. Okay. Go there. Test it. Within yeah. the view, within the view, it's fine. Within the view, okay. also fine. Okay. For CSS, you you have much experience, right? So what we are doing, we are created the three input, right? And the ng model is something that we are added. Okay. Now go within the model. Let's let's change. You. Go within customer app dot model. Mm -hmm. Okay, module. Okay, from here also change the imports because we change the customer, right? Mm -hmm. So here will be the uh, this component, no? right? Exactly, customer component. Yeah, you here we have app component. So should I have to change this? Right, change it to the customer component. Okay. Customer component. Right. Right. Okay. From the customer component. Exactly. Customer component. Dot app dot okay, okay. customer component app. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. You just uh. Mm -hmm. uh Right. Exactly. And now you refer your customer component within declaration. Yes. Because that's R, right? And refer the same within the bootstrap. Okay. Yes. Cool. Okay. So you're done here. Now, yes. now let's let's test test this everything is working. Okay. Before we go, could you please go on to the view? So here some error is showing customer model. I guess. No, it's fine. I believe you. You. I don't know why this didn't show. It's fine. You try to run it. Let's see what happens. How to run the code? Just do the npm start. Yeah, Actually, file naming uh, a customer app, app customer component. Hmm? What is it? I was on, I was on mute. Sorry. Right. So you done right? NPM stuff. What is complaining? Uh, uh, file name in the file name customer app dot customer component. Yes, customer app slash customer component. Customer. No, no, but you are referring from the root, right? And you okay? Now you done this, right? But uh, these file being referred where? Customer module is referred within the bootstrap, right? Main.ts. Have you changed there? This is good. Okay. So then now okay. you understand wherever you need to change it. Now here you need to set as your app model is your starting or customer model is. Uh, okay, customer. What is your model? Uh, hmm. Customer module. Customer app model, right? 
right and you change the app to the your customer app okay okay so it's better you remove everything mm -hmm. Right. Ah. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. And app module is changed to customer module. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is uh, app module, customer module, no? Right. Um, Everyone is please, please. Uh, you also do your code along with this by looking at it. So that is a customer component. Right. Customer component. So no, in 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 main dot ts you specify the module, yeah. your bootstrap module. Go to the main dot ts right. You need to specify the no, your module. Uh, so your app yeah. module instead of that customer module, right? Go to your module. Yes. What is your module name? It's uh, it's customer. Uh, okay, customer app dot module. Okay and okay. So you specify your bootstrap. So change the app module to the customer module. Export class. Okay, 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 okay. App module to customer module. Customer module. Okay. And refer that there. Just copy it. Cool. Now call it here. This will be your bootstrap. Okay. Now see if your project is running fine. But uh, npm starts, so right? Right. npm start. It will be calling ng sir, single cross. It's uh, showing that R rxjx error. Okay. Rxjx error, why it's showing? It's also, it's not, here it is showing that uh, some error in this file. Okay, try npm install, try npm i. You okay. might have changed something with rxjx node model. Okay, anyway, no, no. do npm i, npm i. I. A space and 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 right one more time space uh uh npm start start uh, press enter okay just do npm i and then we'll do npm start i guess npm is redundant here so actually, I have a older uh, NP, uh, Angular 9 installed in my uh, PC. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I coded this all project based on my Angular 6 knowledge. So it should work with all, everything. OK. It should hold true. You did not add anything forcefully, right? No, everything created by then it should go. Okay, now do the NPM start. Unknown errors, load as extend. Now this is coming. And not file module load as slash extend. Go to your index.html. What is selector being used? App root, right? Hmm. Check if the same selector being used within the customer application, customer module. App root is correct. But above are getting error now, guy uh, number two. Exactly, and that's what I'm curious about. So yes, you did the some error kind of this. You you also have something similar sort of this. Yeah. Huh? Maybe. Yes, yes. And okay. But we do do all use the ng right to create your project. Right. So it should have okay. Maybe check, open your we, node module, open your node module and check if you are having this uh, Angular core within it. Yes, 
have uh, there is an angular name. folder within that there should be a core yes there is a direct angular folder right within that if there is a core mm. present yes okay so you have the package but mm. why it's not getting the component from there okay no worries no worries from could you please go on there and uh, over over it what it's complain about and not find module angular core other okay okay so everything was fine uh, after that we if i uh, when i change this to customer app make sense make error, sense, makes sense. go to your I mean, let's fix it let's fix it don't worry so it will okay so go to your uh, go to your angular.json okay okay angular.json okay just wait what is the angular.json yes 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 right you have mm -hmm. a prefix change it to the new prefix that we are using this 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 one mm -hmm. this prefix exactly i know to pin right what uh, what should i write here okay so i can see so your prefix is uh, app customer app Okay, so this this is sorry, your prefix is a folder name. Okay, okay, the this customer app. Right. Just to have model model dot module is not a module. No, I am also getting uh, this line same error. Okay, is others also getting the same error? Everyone is getting same error, or anybody able to run it? Actually, I am able to run it, but I uh, can you provide the HTML syntax we have written? Sorry, say it again. Actually, uh, for my system, it is uh, running properly in compiling, but. I need to change some code in ts file and any of my actually i have uh, just place only deep with what take high in html file not implemented ng model oh. okay okay so could you please go on to the html within your html okay for time being let's comment this with everything within the div because we 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 should be installing the ng model okay and could you please see now if you can able to run it when the this error is coming cannot find module load as slash extend not sure okay let me share my screen yeah on someone who is who is who is getting an error in the html could you please share your screen can i share mine because i'm not getting the similar error yeah, sure go ahead actually i have shared it okay it's uh, yeah. saying compile right i need to change that ts What is the error you are getting? Component customer app component template URL. Okay, so your template URL is not correct. 
customer app dot customer component okay uh, customer app dot component dot html okay. so we rename it to customer app dot view dot html but i have rename it as a customer in my uh, here i have referred like this no 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 your html file what's the name of your html file html this one right mm -hmm. customer dot customer code and so customer app dot component dot html okay so it should be the customer app dot component dot html go there uh, within your uh, component right within your component okay now okay customer app dot html is same and what is saying that the customer customer acha okay it's complaining about this okay so if you can go to the customer model your mo your model customer model a model right right here it is so far you are good so it just complained that what it okay how go to your uh, go to your module and see if you are using the forms module because no i'm not module. using any forms module okay. i have just could you please use the forms module i'll ping you so the ng uh, ng model is present within the forms module and also use the ng model from angular core i'll ping you both the imports okay forms module right mm -hmm. I'll send you the both the imports. Use the both imports. Okay, core was missing. The core is already there. Core is there, right? So use yes. the form model only. Sorry, you should be using a form model. Yeah, both are here. Both are here, right? Now it should work. Run again. No, it should work as it is. Okay. If it's not, then there is still error. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Yes. I have changed here as well customer module, bootstrap module. And I have Good. imported the module here. So from no, here, we yes. directly jumped into the module. And here I have explained my class name is this. Matlab module name. Mm -hmm. Again, it's complaining about the customer amount. Okay, so could you please go and check if this customer amount is the same within your component, uh, within your module? Model, model like within the model. model. Yes, yes, customer. So customer, customer amount. amount, you might be uh, spend it. Spelling. Yes. Oh, customer amount. Okay, I have named it number. Customer number. Make it amount number right now <laughs> okay fine cool now it should work okay it's compiled successfully right cool so we have one success how many success we have we should be now 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 i'll request you create another thing i mean like this customer amount if you wanted to create another component go for it so you know how to create a component right right so right so ng G, here and component name. Okay, you are going within the folder. Yes, I need to. G, G, and the component name. So anyone have anyone getting so similar sort of error? Whom can help? Uh, uh, those who are getting the you know the import error, I'm not sure why they are getting the import error. I never, uh, but I'll work with them. But before that, other than other people, I mean, who 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 other able to run this? Anyone wanted to share their screen and again help them to get uh, to to go till this point? My code is not running. Can I share? Share, please go ahead. Yes, please share. Maybe I have done some mistakes. So. See what I have to write there and check first this file name and tell me what I have to do. Customer, I am app, a... customer component, customer app dot customer component ts, customer view dot html, okay, and customer app dot module, okay, and your module has a okay. So here you can see that it's complaining about uh, so it has a one error within your module so if you can go within your module just go scroll up where it is getting error from 
Okay, so this path is incorrect. So you you rename it to the customer component, right? And the, which one? This this one. Right, first one. Is, right. This customer component. Copy it. If you wanted rename it, copy it for us. Paste it. Copy it. Copy. Huh. And paste it. Okay. There is a extension. If you extension, if you use, this will be very easy. Hmm. Use customer. So so that gone. Right. No, 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 you have to change the import accordingly, na? So you you are using a customer app only. Go to the customer component. This one. Right here, there is a export something. Right, customer component. Okay, so you have a app component, right? Change it to the customer component. This one. This one also customer app model. No, no, no. So your class name is app component, right? You exported a class with the name app component. So what I have to write? I'm not customer thinking. component. No, no. This is model. Okay, you change your model at first, then we'll look into. So your model is uh, customer app dot. Uh, go to your model. What's your name? Name your given. This one, customer app dot model. Hello. Sorry, let me take a minute. One minute pause. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Just write export keyword before class name. We need right. to write the export keyword. So class has a by default. It is a private. When you write a export, it become a public. So I do. Uh, yeah. Save it. Okay. Now go there. Okay. Now you can import it. It's important. Now I am getting error here. Because you okay, you haven't closed your your import. You haven't closed it. So uh, this should be a small any any w. After your model, go to line number two. Uh -huh. End of it. Yeah. Quotes. Close your quotes. Okay. No, no. Curly brace. Got it. Got it. Uh, this one. Right. Cool. Now you created a new customer. New is small. Any small, sorry, customer model, customer equal to, is it equal to or minus? This is is it equal to? Equal to, okay. Mm -hmm. Equal to customer. Why it's complaining there? Why it's not getting customer? Click on there and see if you can go within the your customer model. No, not able to. Function and implementation is missing or not? Okay, go go to you within your model. Go within your model. Customer app dot model. Go within that. Okay. Now rename that. Uh, click right click and rename. Click on the rename. Copy that. Did. Copy Control C. Did Control C. Okay. Now you go to the component. Mm -hmm. And uh, and paste that entire. Yeah. Page. Yeah, oh, exactly. Now one. Sure, thank you. Okay, so this is done. This is done. Now I guess you are all set. I believe so. I think it. Uh, NG serve right? Yeah, npm start. No, no, no. npm start. NG serve it will run internally. How do you want to run this the uh, run this tutorial? So it, like I, I I'll I'll execute on my machine and show to every case everyone, or you wanted to also execute on your machine and I'll be waiting till you execute it. I think it's better to execute in your machine. Then you can share our uh, files to us because it will take less time. Then and then otherwise. Okay, so it's fine, right? If I if I just make the changes and move ahead with the, with it. Yeah, yes, yeah. That would be yes, yes. Yes. Internet connect and uh, sort out things within the group. Makes sense. Yes, Makes yes. Sense. So you able to run it? Okay, let me share my screen. And we'll move ahead. Got it. So, so here we are taking a from model. Okay, why we taken a from model? We looked into it because there is something called as ng model. Okay. This ng model comes from the form model. 
and what this ng model job is what this ng model job is have you seen that it come from the form model everyone hmm. yes yes so it comes yes. from the form model so what is ng model job is is to connect i mean it says that hey this is the model which is being used here here in your component okay so it pro, pro, it redirect to the component properties of customer model so you can you, if you use the ng model it redirect to your component property now while you specify the ng model there is there is this syntax right you can see this syntax everyone able to see this syntax yes right yes. so what is it mean i'll tell you so when you specify something like this when you specify something like this it means that you wanted to pass data from your view or from your html to your component everyone with me when you use this syntax you wanted to pass a data from your html uh, component to uh, from your html to your component and when you do this syntax it means that you wanted to pass the data from your component to your view yes okay and when you use this both syntax what it mean by you tell me two way binding two way binding means what exactly you passing the data from your hmm. html to component from component to HTML. Uh, HTML is simultaneously. Yeah. Simultaneously. So it's a two way binding. Okay. And this is being referred to as a form. So that's why we can able to refer it. I mean, we are binding this to this input element using the ng model. Okay. And because this is provided by the form, so you can bind your input and everything with your model. So it's binding your input with your uh, model property. And that's why we are using ng model. Uh, okay. Okay. Now here we are simply writing a click button. Okay, we are saying that the input, input and click. So why we are specifying the click within this, within this uh, brackets? Why we are specifying the click? Because we wanted to pass this event from your view to component. Okay. This is also called as the event binding. Mm. Okay. So this is a button type of button value is add. Okay, these nothing but we are printing the all the values. Whenever you see the interpolation, this syntax interpolation, this syntax is nothing but an interpolation. This syntax is nothing but an interpolation. Everyone repeat along with me. This syntax is nothing but an interpolation. You wanted to print your value of the component here. Okay, so in the component you have a customer model, so you are printing customer code, customer name, and this. Okay, then there is a table. Then there is a tr. Within I am saying that there is a customer code, customer name, and the amount. And again, I am saying a TR. Uh, again, I am saying a TR. Okay. So before we do that, let's move on to the our model. Okay. Before we say that the TR, let's move on to our model. So this is a customer model. However, when I'm when I'm declaring this customer model, I am saying that the customer models where I'm creating the array. Okay. So there is a shorthand for this array. Let me show you this. There is a shorthand for this array, so you can also say that I wanted to declare a customer array, which is an empty array. So you have everyone wrote this. Those who are able to run the code, please write this customer model, okay? And write an add method here. So what we are doing? Someone when we click on the ad, we we create the input, right? Someone we click on the ad, we wanted to push these things into the customer model. So someone when we click on the ad, what we do? We have what what we have here is nothing but on the HTML. What we have here is is our customer model, right? So someone when clicks on the save, what we wanted to do? We wanted to take this property and store it. We add within the array. So how we can do in the component? So we are doing the two way binding. So it's already bind with the HTML, right? So we just need to push within our customer models or within our array, and we are getting the hold of it. Okay, and then what we are doing? We are re-instantiating our customer model so that everything on the UI will be set to null or set to zero because when we create a new instance, it points to the new memory location, and there where we are don't don't have a reference to our prop where we are don't have a uh, value of for our property. So this will be right like re-instantiating clause or sending it to the null or clearing the fields. So far with me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So you just need to go and do the npm start. 
Hare. Okay, no, very good. Getting the bundles. It says compile successfully and it's generated my application on localhost port 4200. So if I go on to my browser and say localhost port 4200. Welcome to the customer application. What's wrong here? So OK, we are day two and I'm running the day one app. That's wrong here. So expectation is that we will be seeing a HTML page where we'll be having this three input field. There is a button which says the add, and if we add it, okay, okay. Then there is a tr, and what we are using is star dot ng form. Okay, let cus of customer models. Okay, what is this? Uh, Allies. What is ng form? Ng form is used for mix loop, looping. Loop. Yeah, for loop. But what loop. what is what is it called? Structural directive. Directive. Yeah, structural directive. Someone explained it very clearly. It's a structural directive. Why it's called a structural directive? It's making the change into your DOM model structure. So it's adding a few element within your DOM model structure. Or it's 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 visa versa. Okay. Hmm. So that's why it's called a structural directive. It's changing your DOM model structure, and that's why it's called a structural directive. And uh right. So this is a structure directive which we are using and what is the another popular structure directive ng if ng if ng switch right ng if ng switch and what why they are why they are called as a structural directive because they are actually adding within the dom so if you if you write a ng if to the false you will not see any element within your dom but when your when your condition met that element is actually dynamically getting added within the dom okay so that's why they change the manipulated DOM structure. They change the DOM structure. That's why they are called the structure directive. Okay. So NG if and NG for are the structure directive. And here are my application. Oh, sorry about this, my door. So here I can say the code. So I'm saying that my code is to and why I'm getting this value printed down below. Uh, because it is getting two way two way binding. Right, because I'm using a two-way binding, and then I'm using the uh, value to print on my console. So when I'm modifying here, the value dynamically get modified and printed on my console. Okay, I'm using an interpolation to print this value on the console. Here I have used the interpolation. This is the interpolation syntax. This is the interpolation syntax. This is the interpolation syntax I've been used here. So let's see our ng for into the action. Let's finger cross if it's work or not. The customer code is let it be C O D code 101. And uh, my name is Amar. My I'm taking 10 rupees and let's add this. So it is getting added. Let's add another Raju name. Okay, customer code is uh, C O D 102. His name is Raju, and amount he's taking is 11 add him okay so far you are able to create this should i expect that when you come in tomorrow you will be having everyone will be having this yes yes okay 
now i i need a quick feedback so should, should from tomorrow should i uh, should i make this faster where i'll be explaining and taking it you ahead or should i wait for you to do a course so uh, i think you just uh, you can just show the co i mean show the process and uh, we and uh, we'll do it uh, later on means after the I mean, session we can uh, do it because it will uh, save time Yes. Also, we we will have uh, your recording sessions, so that will be easy for us. Makes sense. Yeah. I'll do that because yeah. someone mentioned that let we wanted to starting from beginning, so we want everyone is agree with it, right? So from tomorrow, I'll be talking much and I'll be leading you to the writing the code. Everyone agrees, right? Quick confirmation. Yes. 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 Okay. So let's let's have a uh, tomorrow session. I'll be explaining you the thing and moving ahead, and I'll not ask you to share it. But I expect you to, you know, when you are coming next day, you will be writing the, you will be giving me the same output which I'll be, I'll be telling you. Okay, the recording will not be immediately available, but I expect that that thing probably. And uh, tomorrow we'll go into the Angular routing, and we'll we'll try to create another thing. I mean, we'll try to create another some structures and the form where we can do the Angular routing, and that's how we. Progress. Yeah, can you can you share that file uh, today? Yes, yeah. Uh, with this code. This code, right? Okay, okay. So what I'll do, I'll uh, how to share this code on the Google Drive? Yes, yes. yes you can yes. Uh, yes. share it on Google Drive. We can then from there we can download. Sure, sure. So the part which is complete, I'll share with on the Google Drive. So yes, you can yes. also go through it. And mm -hmm. right. And expect I'm not writing a CSS because the expectation is you people are good and you people are showing me some good CSS when you are loading this. And like I mentioned, there is a global CSS where you can write a CSS where there is a component where is a specific CSS mm -hmm. you can write it. Then there are some pipes you can use it to have a specific highlighters and whatnot and whatnot. If you are confused about the pipe, we will cover during our course some basic pipes. The custom pipes for is advanced as for which we can take a new uh, we can which we can take I'll, I'll take a new uh, second part of the Angular series. But thank you for joining our first day of Angular series and let's meet tomorrow with some new concepts. Yes, thank you. Thanks thank so much. You. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.